Welcome to Tall Tannic. I'm Board Badger and I'm here with another video for you today. Let's get on with it. From the adorable to the downright creepy, we present to you the 13 strangest Arctic and Antarctic creatures. Number 13, Tardigrade. Tardigrades are strange and look pretty darn funky. They are an eight-legged, water-dwelling, segmented micro-animal found basically everywhere all over the world, including the Antarctic. They are known to be some of the most resilient animals around, being able to withstand extreme conditions that would quickly overtake others. It's even believed that they may be able to survive global mass extinction due to astrophysical events like gamma ray bursts, large meteorites, and supernova. They vary in what they can stand. Some can take extreme heat, others extreme cold. They are also tiny, growing to around 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters. They can go on without food or water for up to 30 years, and the list goes on and on. Tardigrade pretty much means super animal in layman's terms. Number 12. Narwhal These chubby, adorable unicorns of the sea live their entire lives in the frigid, cold Arctic waters around Canada, Russia, and Greenland. The males of the species are the only ones that have the neat helical tusk, which is actually an elongated upper left canine. Narwhals are medium-sized whales, reaching lengths to 13 to 18 feet, with the females coming in just a little smaller than their male counterparts. They can live up to 50 years, but sadly, they're often fatally trapped underneath ice when the sea freezes over, and they can't come up for air. They can go a maximum of 4,670 feet between breathing holes, and the holes have to be at a minimum 1.6 feet wide for an adult to gain access. They are also sometimes eaten by polar bears, walruses, and Greenland sharks. Oh, and us! We humans are their most significant predator, which isn't cool, guys. Number 11, Ice Worm. These creepy buggers spend their lives living inside of glacial ice. Cold, hard, lonely glacial ice. They've adapted the ability to regulate their internal body temperatures so that they don't freeze rock solid and even chance dying if they get too warm. Instead, they burrow in and make themselves at home, living life under these extreme and intensely cold conditions. There are 77 different species of ice worms altogether. But for real though, how many creatures want to make their homes in icebergs? Number 10, Polar Bear. These cute, cuddly looking carnivorous beasts are found in the Arctic Circle and land masses surrounding it, such as Newfoundland, Northern Canada, and they've even been reported in Norway. It's adapted for cold temperatures, like negative 29 degrees Fahrenheit cold, traversing ice, open water, snow, and hunting seals. They depend on sea ice, which helps to classify them as marine mammals. They are incredibly vulnerable as of now due to climate change and the habitat loss, and it's reported that at the very least, three of the 19 polar bear subpopulations are declining. The polar bear is the most carnivorous bear around, and with millions of seals calling the Arctic their home, we'd say they're pretty set up. Food-wise, that is. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that the average adult male polar bear grows to lengths of 7 foot 10 inches to 9 foot 10 inches, and a weight of 772 to 1,543 pounds. If you ever meet one, don't approach, because although they don't usually prefer to eat humans, they will if they set their mind to it. In that case, just try, because you'll probably be coming into close contact with their 42 sharp teeth shortly. Number 9. Lion's main jellyfish. These guys are huge. For real, they're massive. The lion's main jellyfish is the most giant known jellyfish in the world. It lives and thrives in cold, northern Atlantic, northern Pacific, and Arctic waters. The most massive specimen ever encountered had tentacles 121.4 feet long and a bell with a diameter of 7 foot 6 inches. It had washed up on the shores of Massachusetts Bay in 1870 and without a doubt caused heads to turn. It uses its long tentacles much like other jellyfish use theirs, to sting, stun, capture, and eat the prey that ends up entangled in them. In 2010, nearly 150 people were injured by the remains of the lion mane's jellyfish in New Hampshire, and it's hypothesized, but unconfirmed, that it could have been the work of just one jellyfish given the size of the lion's mane. Holy smokes. Number 8. Crocodile Icefish Found around Antarctica and southern South America in the Southern Ocean, the crocodile icefish is a fish lacking color due to it not containing hemoglobin. In fact, 15 out of 16 species of icefish, the beta subunit gene of hemoglobin had been deleted, and the alpha subunit gene is particularly gone as well. <coughs> to make up for it, they have higher blood volumes and much larger blood vessels, bigger hearts, and five times the cardiac output of other fish. They don't have myoglobin either. Neither trait is adaptive, but they've developed without anyways and evolved to make it work. Actually, they thrive in the cold waters they're found in, 
as colder water allows for higher water oxygen content and oxygen availability, which they seem to need considering their lack of oxygen binding proteins. They mainly eat krill and can eat things 50% their length in one swimming, like little bosses. Then they move on and resume their fish lives. Number 7. Hoff Crab Now why do you think this animal is called the Hoff Crab? Well if you guessed it because it's hairy chested like David Hasselhoff, you're correct. Found living on hydrothermal vents near Antarctica, this crab isn't even a crab, it's a deep sea squat lobster. It has shortened chalet, pincers, and has a covering of setae, bristle or hair like structures on its ventral surface. It's believed that sulfur oxidizing bacteria found on setae of the crabs is a significant source of food for them. David Hasselhoff has tweeted in favor of the Hoff name describing the crabs, and we don't blame him. You know you've really made it when you have an animal named after you. Hats off to you, David. Number 6. Snailfish Although these guys don't make their homes only in the Arctic and Antarctic, they make this list, well, because they do live in those places. Snailfish have the most species of all fish families in the deepest waters of the Antarctic region. They also have a wider depth range than any other family of fish, but they stick to strictly cold waters, so any found in the tropics are deep water only. The slimy looking fish are highly resilient creatures, and some contain antifreeze properties, making them able to withstand frigid temperatures. In May of 2017, the record for the deepest living fish ever recorded was set by a snailfish caught on camera swimming 26,831 feet below the surface in the Mariana Trench. That's nearly as deep as Mount Everest is tall. So they're obviously some form of mutant fish. Number 5. Springtail The springtail used to be classified as an insect, but made its way from the bottom to where they are now, as an entognatha, or a wingless arthropod. The reason for the change is the fact that they have internal moth parts as opposed to the external found in insects. They are typically about 0.24 inches long or shorter, and have segmented bodies that contain glycerol, which helps keep them from freezing to death, although it still is possible. Springtails also possess the ability to slow their metabolism down to conserve energy, and if stuff hits the fan and conditions get too extreme, they can shut down into a hibernation-like state. These heebie-jeebie inducing creatures can jump great distances using their tail-like, spring-like furcula that is continuously tensed under their bodies just waiting to be released. And because of their jumping habits, they've been given the nickname Snowflea. We're just gonna say that we'd probably freak if we found them on ourselves or our cats. Especially our cats. Number 4. Sea Spider Alright, so this guy looks like a straight creepy crawly of the ocean. Ayo, hey, get the bug spray! But in all seriousness, meet the sea spider, a marine arthropod found in oceans all over the world, but extra large in the Antarctic and deeper waters. They're not actual spiders either. They're classified as chelicerates, which makes them closer to spiders than other arthropods such as crabs and lobsters. These freaky bug-like creatures have tiny little bodies and really long thin legs, numbering between 8 and 12. They have no respiratory system and a proboscis, basically a snout or long tubular organ that they use to suck necessary nutrients from invertebrates with soft enough skin to allow for penetration of the proboscis. They can grow up to be 2.3 feet from leg to leg. And to that, we say nope. Keep your freaky self to yourself, sea spider. Number 3. Greenland Shark Wanna hear something crazy? This bad boy has the longest lifespan of any vertebrate species, with scientists believing they can live between 400 and 500 years. That means that right now there could be Greenland sharks swimming around that were around while the Salem witch trials were going on in 1692. These predators are pretty restricted to the waters of the North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. They eat things like smaller sharks, Arctic char, cod, herring, flounder, and eels, but they've never ever been observed hunting. They have, however, been found with remains of animals in their stomachs that they're not known to eat, like polar bears, horses, moose, and once even an entire reindeer body. The meat of a Greenland shark is toxic. Despite that, it's treated and served in Iceland as a delicacy. For now, it sounds like they're kind of flirting with disaster. Number 2. Eulogisca gigantea This freaky fish looking creature is actually not a fish at all, but a worm. Found on the seabed of the southern ocean, this little guy can grow to lengths of about 8 inches and a width of around 4. They almost appear like big shrimp, as they have 40 segments and is dorsoventrally flattened. They have bristles that can be used for swimming, self-defense, and probably crawling about on the ocean floor. The mouth-looking part of this worm is actually a retractable pharynx that is about the size of a quarter of the length of the entire thing, meaning it's terrifying. Its diet is unknown, but scientists believe that it is some sort of carnivore judging by the size of its jaws. 
considering we don't know what it eats, don't get near one anytime soon. Number 1. Colossal Squid Mass-wise, this humongous monstrosity is thought to be the largest of all squid species. There have only been a few specimens measured as of now due to their rarity, but what scientists believe is that the colossal squid can reach a max size of 39 to 46 feet, and a max weight of 1,650 pounds. To make matters worse, the things have arms and tentacles lined with teeth and sharp hooks. Some of the hooks are three-pointed, some swivel, and they all look painful to come in contact with. Many a sperm whale has been found with brutal scars that are thought to be the work of the hooks from a colossal squid. It also has the largest recorded eye size in all of the animal kingdom, with one specimen's eyeballs thought to be 12 to 16 inches in diameter when it was alive. We'll just stop while we're, well, where we are. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to stop on by Board Badger for videos like this every single week. Oh!